For the first time, we are seeing more than 4 million HIV patients receiving treatment. This is unimaginable 10 years ago. Another example, the under five child uh, mortality. For the first time in 60 years, we saw this figure drop below 10 million. One thing that touches me very deeply is the lack of progress in MMR, maternal mortality, in many countries. In Africa, many countries in Africa, in India, and other countries in Asia as well. Now, another important area also fall under the overall scope of um, health for women and girls is violence against women, abuse against women. These are issues we really need to double our effort or triple our effort. I think it is too premature and too early for us to say uh, we have come to an end of the uh, pandemic influenza worldwide. It would be prudent and appropriate for WHO, together with our member states, to continue to monitor the evolution of this pandemic for the next six to 12 months. How close are we? The long overdue influenza pandemic is so moderate in its impact, it's probably the best health news of the decade. A severe pandemic, just imagine, just imagine, a severe pandemic coming at such a fragile time in a world where there are many people suffering from chronic diseases like heart disease, lung disease, including asthma, cancers, with many more people suffering from HIV, obesity, and the list goes on. With this kind of backdrop, one could see if we are confronted with a severe pandemic, it could have brought the momentum for health development to a grinding halt and reversed all the hard-earned gains that the world collectively have achieved in the last 10 years.